Hello everyone and welcome back to another GT Online guide where today we're going to be taking a look at the Vamos, a muscle car added as part of the Arena War DLC in GT Online, so let's dive right in shall we? So for the price of just shy of $600,000 you can get a car which, on the most part, doesn't really separate itself from the crowd of existing muscle cars. The first thing I thought when I first saw this thing was, wow did I just buy a blade? Customization options include a mix of stock car slash dragster slash dukes of hazard style styling. You can get things like wheelie bars which, like a lot of things in the GTA universe, are completely useless as you'll see later in the video. Liveries that can consist of rust bucket looks to that of stuff that's more modern, as well as a variety of body kit installations that allow you to turn this car from a street muscle car into something of a drag racer. Hell, you can even get a parachute for the thing, which like most things in the GTA universe are completely useless and are just there to exist. Taking the car out for a drive, the first thing that I noticed about this car was that this thing feels heavy. It feels like I'm driving a typical car in GTA 4, only slightly less worse us making the car very tail happy, and to some people that's probably going to make the car more fun to drive, me included. With this car's heavy handling you can pull off some oversteer manoeuvres in a variety of ways. You have your handbrake as per usual but you can also just steer the car and that's enough to get the tail out on its own. Also you might want to watch out for those darn curbs while making an inside turn or there's a high chance you're going to get the thing on two wheels. Basically this thing is a drift missile if you're not experienced enough trying to go top speed through the streets of Los Santos. As this is a muscle car, it can pull off wheelies, and while they're not as easy to pull off as some other muscle cars, I didn't have as much trouble as I did with the Tulip. Adding the wheelie bar at the rear doesn't make any difference as to how the car handles when pulling off a wheelie, as it just clips through the ground like the useless piece of Rockstar logic that it is. Anyways, this is just one of many muscle cars added as part of the Arena War DLC. It's like Rockstar were really trying to promote the new wheelie feature added as part of the DLC, and they wanted to celebrate it somehow by featuring a whole crap ton of muscle cars of the game. Let's see now, uh, for the drag test I guess I'll just pair it up against the clique, since why the hell not, you got the thing for free if you're logged in on Christmas day, so let's see if the freebie can outperform this $600,000 car. Oh dear, I guess what they say is true, the best things in life are free. And personally I have to give the Vamos in general a miss to be honest, mainly because of its boat like handling as well as the tendency for less than 4 wheels to not have grip with the road at all times. This is a challenging car to drive, it's fun to push to its limits, it's fun to get sideways in more ways than one, and it sure looks nice, but as a car for competitive racing, look elsewhere. But let me know what you guys think about this car, let me know in the comments and hey if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around folks.